Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to day two of the 2018 Rally Argentina here on my WRC 7 series. This is round four or five. You know, I can't even remember. We're running so many different categories on my channel, I can't remember which round we're up to. But after day one, we are sitting in fifth, only 17 seconds down from first and Ogier. So we actually managed to win stage one and quite comfortably as well. We won by six seconds, which on a 6k stage is actually not too bad. Now, unfortunately, the special stage wasn't quite as good. Uh, I sort of just trickled my way through that and came away with a sort of second, I believe. Uh, yeah, no, it is round five. There we go. Oh, uh, no, sorry. Yeah, we came away with a fourth or fifth. And, and then, unfortunately, on stage three, which was something out of Mario Kart, it was just so ridiculously hard. We, unfortunately, dropped down a little bit further. But it's all to play for here on the extra stage on day two. It's quite long. It's 11.65k. It's not as long as the uh, other extra stage we go to, but it is definitely just as hard. It's wet all on gravel, the first sort of five to six minutes from what I saw on WRC2 wasn't too bad, but uh, the ending was quite difficult, I must admit. We just managed to scrape through in the ending, and hopefully we can do the same here on WRC. Alrighty, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this fourth stage, and hopefully continue our sort of top five form. Thierry Neville taken off there. So we have to capitalize on the first sort of 5Ks of this stage and get ahead in the timing so that we can hopefully just trickle through the final 4Ks. See, it's just that final bit, the final sort of 4Ks, the hairpins, that's actually on the top of like a really rocky mountain I found. And yeah, it's not easy. All right, that's enough talk. Here we go. Day two, stage four for Rally Argentina. Oh, steering wheel's gone full retard. I don't know why I did that, I did that yesterday as well. Into right five, 100. Left Gosh, three, that was right very four, scary five, opening Titan. section. Left five, into right four, 70. Flat left, into through water, and right four, open, 30. Left three, and square left. And left five, long, 50, bump. Left five, tightens four, and right three, short, 50. Left three, short, and right four, 60. Left five, over press, and left four, tightens, 30. Right three, tightens, into left six, 30. Portion, break, right two, over press, tightens, square right, 50. Ah, come on. Ah, right bit of time there. Short in the hairpin left, long uphill. And right one, 40. Left three, tightens, and right three, opens, very long, 30. Come on, there we go. Left three, short, 40, press, into right four, tightens, bumps, 100. Oh god, so left four, bumpy. Short, into right six, tightens. Left two, short, into right two, short, and left five, 40. Ah, come on. Oh, wasn't actually too bad in the end. <laughs> left five, into right five, break. Left three, 50. Right six, over press, and hard break. Left one. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. What the hell just. What was that? Oh my god, WRC, fuck's sake. 
Oh, we were absolutely nailing the stage as well. So I don't think we lost too much time. I don't even think we got much damage out of that. Left five and portion right four, Titan three downhill, sixty. Right three into left three, long and open into right three, thirty. Left five, Titan into right four, long, Titan. And left five, over dip. Right four, thirty through water. And left four into right three. And left three, long, Titan, 30. Left three and hairpin right into flat left. Right three, Titan three, short into left five, 70. Left three and right two. Into left five and right three. 30. Flat right and hard break. Hairpin left into flat right. Titan three, don't cut. Left three into flat right. Titan three. Into left five, 50. Flat left over bumps and left five, 60. Flat right, long and flat left. Long, uphill, 60. Break, left five and right three. Very long, tighten. Flat left, into right three, tighten. Don't cut. And left four, don't cut. Into right four, short. Alright, now this is where it starts to get interesting. Hard break. Square right, don't cut, and left two, don't ah, cut, shit. 30. Oh. oh, no, that goes right, I mean, that goes left. Hard break, oh. left three, into acute hairpin right, narrows, into acute hairpin left, keep in. And right six, narrows, Turn. caution, Fuck. left Come two, over crest, 30. Right six, over crest, and left five, tighten three, short, into right five, and crest. Narrows into right four, short into left two, and right two, long, widens. And left three, keep in. And crest into left three, short into kinks. Into left two, short into right three, into left five. And open hairpin left. Don't cut into hairpin right. Ah shit! Fucking send the left and run right off the four, ground. Can turn into left two. Tighten. Don't cut. And right two. Short into left three. Short. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. Into right three. Over crest. Open and flat left. Keep it. Fifty. Portion, right three, and left three, tighten, into right five, short. And left four, tighten, three, into flat right, and narrows, over bridge, 13. All right, that's where we came up in WRC Portion, two. right two, left six, tighten, 40. Portion, left three, short, into bridge, narrows. And left five, over jump, and left three, tightens two, don't cut, into right five, over crest. Into left one, into right one, over crest, keep in, 40. Left two, tightens, don't cut, into right three, very long. No, 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 tightens. fuck! Come on, come on, get back on the track. Ugh. That's all right. Made it. We lost a good four seconds, but not too bad. Into open hairpin left, don't cut. 100 into kinks. Hairpin oh, right, Joseph, don't, don't lose cut. it now. And hairpin left, 30. Left two, don't cut. Opens into right two, long, tightens. 
into left one, short, into right three, opens, 60. Hairpin right, don't cut, into left five, opens, 50. Ah, uh, 10, come on, come on. Definitely taking the high line through there. Left five, short, hard break, and open hairpin left, into right three, long, and left three, opens. Oh, that was fast. Well, where's the finish? And caution, acute hairpin left, and right four, 30. And left five, over press, tightens three, into flat left, long, and finish! Oh my god, it's over. Oh, I can breathe. Far out. Oh my gosh, no way! No way we just finished that in third. Even after even after having to freaking turn around like twice. Wow. What in the world? How the hell do we manage that? Well, I'm not going to lie, I was not all that confident going into this rally, but I think this is the best we've driven all year. I think I may just be starting to get a handle of it. <laughs> I mean, this first section was just dynamite. Wow. I can't believe we've... And we're only three seconds off the lead as well. That's really shocked me. Definitely within a chance for a podium now. I mean, this section was just, that was almost perfect. But here, we actually rolled. I can't believe it. I don't know what I hit, because there was nothing there when I saw it, but there must have been, because we ended up on our roof. But thankfully, we sort of rolled back onto our wheels and kept going, but that was really, really weird. I'm not sure how far in, but we'll take a look at it. Wow, what a bizarre start to day two. Or end to day two, I should say, because there's no more stages. <laughs> right on the edge. <laughs> Trying to see where it was where we ended up on our hood. That actually ended up being quite quick. <laughs> Even though we ran through all those little gate things, we still actually managed to get away through there much quicker than what we would have. All right, now there. What? What the hell? How do I get the thing back up? Here, right, let's take a look at this again. Oh, it's a ditch. It's a ditch. Wow. Okay, that's really interesting. Wow. Okay, so that was a ditch. I told that explains why I couldn't see it. I mean, from this point of view, you at going that speed. I mean, you can, well, you can see it now. So this is on board. I mean, yeah, by the time I even saw it, I had no idea it was there, but wow, what a wicked ditch. That sent us on our roof. Something terrible. Look at that. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think that probably quite would have been like that in real life, but... Thankfully, we got it turned around and kept going, and <laughs> we almost got ended up in it again. Wow, well, yeah, if we hadn't hit that... we probably could have won the stage because that definitely cost us more than three seconds. What a stage, holy crap.
about. We managed to gain, gain a little bit of time back in this section here. And, well, usually I would, I would have thought we would have lost heap, heaps of time in, towards the end of that stage, but we must have actually been really good through some of those ha um, hairpins and handbrake turns. Must have got them right today for us to only be three seconds down on the lead. I can't imagine we'd gained that much time on the opening part of this stage to the point where we would have that much in reserve towards the end of the stage. Once again, using that little banking there as a cushion on the exit of that corner. We did the same thing in WRC2. It's almost like a complete repeat. No, this rally, I don't think I could have driven much better so far, this this rally. I mean, we got a bit unlucky with that ditch there. Got a bit unlucky um, falling off the side of one of these turns up here in the once we get into the mountain sort of area. But besides that, I don't think I could have gone much quicker this, this rally. So far, anyway. I'm talking a bit early. We've still got two stages left, of which... One of them is that awful stage three that we went on yesterday and lost quite a lot of time. Oh, nothing happened. Is he just waiting and waiting an eternity to get the car to rotate? And he is just like, oh my god, I don't know how a regular car gets through there. <laughs> and I said in WRC2, you need a car with front and rear steering to get through that corner, or that sort of section. Like, if this is an actual road, I'd be shocked. Like, someone's seriously having a laugh creating a, a gravel road through, the, <laughs> through this sort of mountain range or rock range, whatever you want to call it. It's, I mean, it's quite cool. It's very fun, I must admit, but it's incredibly hard, and I can't believe these guys actually do this in real life. Like, this, this is a stage in real life. This is just crazy. Can't wait to actually watch it in real life. This is the first year that I've properly followed WRC. I've followed, you know, of course, Rally GB and then maybe Rally Australia when it came to the nation that I was living in. But, and, of course, Monty. Everyone watches Monty. But besides that, yeah, no, I hadn't really properly tuned in. Uh, these new cars, though, have just taken it to another level. They're so cool. Like, the old cars were impressive, but this is just... These, they're starting to make these guys look like aliens, how fast they can take these cars through some of these really narrow streets and gravel roads and I mean, god, I'm shitting myself and I'm not even on, I'm behind a computer screen. <laughs> now it came all unstuck there for us in WRC2 but we managed to get through there not too bad. In this category it's just you've got to get this car between those sort of first two pegs or or bridge structure things, I'm not sure what you call them, because it really is quite narrow. I mean, all this was actually quite quick, or well, it would have had to have been for us to have finished only three seconds down. Ah, that's where we came unstuck. Just lost the right rear over the edge of that corner. Tokyo Drift. See, that's what you saw there. You see how the rear of the car jumped off the ground? That's what's causing me so many issues in some of this sort of mountain section is I'll go into some of these like three corners or even four or even two and there'll be a little hop slash jump like that that leads into the corner and it, and it ends up lifting the whole rear of the car off the ground which then in turn lifts the front slightly off the ground as well which means that you have basically no steer and, and no lateral grip to get you through some of these corners and it ends up making the corner maybe like a, a two or a one instead of a three <laughs> it's that tight I mean that was just kind of gone much quicker than that that was quite tasty
that was really good. And they're starting to get the handle on some of these handbrake turns, but... Yeehaw! <laughs> How's that for a way to finish? Okay, so three seconds down, OJ will extend his lead. Sordo actually sec, but we finished ahead of Nouville, Tanak, and Latvila, which is the big which is the big news. So as you can see here, wow. Ogier, once again, I mean, we just let him have it as per usual, but we're only, what is that? Uh, less than a second, oh no, less than three seconds away from being in second and our teammate Tanak and less than, well, 2.1 seconds away from being in, on the podium. And we've got a nice little eight second gap from Sordo and Latvila sort of fallen off a little bit. Craig Breen now a minute and 46 behind. So yeah, wow, it is going to be an interesting final day. Chris Meek must have had some issues because he's not quite usually that down, that far down, sorry. Yeah, no, this is going to be an interesting final day. If we can just get through this uh, fifth stage without too much time loss, so yeah, special stage five, if we can just get through that unscathed, then we should be able to hopefully get some decent time gained on the final power stage because the final power stage is actually the same stage that we won in on day one on stage one so we start and finish on the exact same stage but it's just all going to be down to this stage five that's going to be the the crucial turning point look 200, 244 meters in elevation change it's 6.26 k's and it's just hairpin after hairpin after hairpin but after how we finished on the extra stage there and that extra long one that was that was impressive so it's given me a little bit more confidence going into day three all right well that wraps up day two here in argentina on wrc7 hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for day three where it is going to be a fight for the podium and well you never know what can happen we may actually end up fighting for a win should something happen to OGA but we'll move on to day three with a little bit of confidence and until then I will catch you guys later